this time, we will formally introduce you to the 2022 Homecoming Royalty. Our first court members are Delaney Reynolds and Trayvon Howard. Delaney Reynolds is the daughter of Stephen Deisha Reynolds. She has participated in track and field, cross country, and club soccer. She decided to participate in sports during high school because of the family that comes with it and the fun memories that are made every day. She is a member of the National Honor Society, an eight-time state qualifier, a four-time Drake track qualifier, and she earned the Distinguished Service Award. She enjoyed last year when she played powder puff football and she scored four touchdowns. Her advice for freshmen is to participate in the homecoming in all ways possible. It is the best week of the school year and you will only get four of them. Delaney is planning on going skydiving in October. She hopes that everyone finds joy this week and branches out to try something new. Her future plans are to attend the U University of Iowa as an undecided major. Trayvon Howen is the son of Brent Van Howen and Heather Snell. He participates in football, basketball, and track. He really enjoys the, the sports and he loves to compete. Trey earned an all-district honor football selection, was a state track qualifier, a state track champion, was on the honor roll, and lettered in multiple sports. His favorite homecoming memory is coaching Powder Puff last year, even though the seniors cheated. His advice for freshmen is don't stop and walk in the hallways. People are trying to walk. His favorite quote is, you are you, but I am him, by Jack Howard. His hope is that we win the football game this Friday night. Trey plans to attend a four-year university. His major is undecided, but he plans to play football. Maddie Schmidt is the daughter of Jean and Denise Schmidt. She is escorted by Cam Schulte. She has participated in volleyball, cross country, basketball, bowling, track, softball, jazz band, and marching band. She is a member of the National Honor Society, the Student Liaison for Dollars for Scholars, the student body president, a youth leadership conference delegate, and is involved in her youth group. She is a national delegate for the Iowa Youth Tour, is on the honor roll. She lettered in varsity, she lettered in varsity for track, bowling, and softball. She is a two-time state track runner. She enjoys being involved in her community and meeting new people. Working with others is fun. Her favorite homecoming activity is seeing all the fun outfits everyone has on. Her advice for freshmen is, if you're confident and wrong, people will think you're right. Something interesting about Maddie is that wherever she goes to re whenever she goes to restaurants, she orders chocolate milk. She hopes that everyone has a great week and tries something outside of their comfort zone. Maddie is currently undecided on where she is going to college, but is planning on going the pre-med route. Cam Schulte is the son of Rich and Kara Schulte. He is involved in football, basketball, and track. He loves to compete and be part of great teams. He has earned the seal of biliteracy, is on the honor roll, and lettered in multiple sports. His favorite homecoming activities are the competitions on Thursday. His advice for freshmen is, don't take our school for granted. We are very lucky to attend PHS. His favorite quote is, the question isn't what we are going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do, by Ferris Bueller. He hopes that Foods 2 makes an amazing lunch today. Cam plans to attend a four-year college. Abby Bogards is the daughter of Michelle and Dennis Bogards. She is escorted by Kinsum Fuller. She has participated in cross country, track, bowling, show choir, advanced choir, and student council. She enjoys running and singing, but most importantly, she loves the team dynamic and the relationships that are created during the season. She participates in the student council as a student body vice president. She ran state track and is a member of the National Honor Society and is a student ambassador. Her favorite homecoming activity is watching the whole school unite and going all out for dress up days. Her advice for freshmen is live it up and make fun high school memories. Abby's favorite quote is long live rock and roll by her grandma Artie. She hopes that everyone lives every day like it's their last and is open to new experiences and new friends. Abby plans to attend college and room with Delaney Reynolds. Her major is undecided. Kenson Fuller is the son of Les and Tracy Fuller. 
He has participated in football, track, and bowling, and band. He chose to participate because the, he enjoys the bonding with others and being able to meet new people. He is on the honor roll, will be attending the Rolls Bowl Parade with the band, was on the state track team for two years, and went to state soccer. His favorite homecoming memory is being able to see everyone dressed up and participating in the activities. His advice for, fre for freshmen is to get in the weight room and do whatever it takes. His favorite quote is, I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion by Muhammad Ali. He told me that one day when he was old, he can look back and see how blessed he was to grow up in a good community. He has some plans to go to college and study business to get his real estate and buy license. He also wants to play football in college. Namaga is the daughter of Jeff and Crystal Namaga. She is escorted by Tate Wiesner. She has participated in varsity volleyball, basketball, track, and bowling, as well as advanced choir and magicals. She loves the athletics and she loves the athletics and being a part of a team or a group can provide students with unique opportunities to get involved and be able to meet new people and build new relationships. She is a member of the National Honor Society, a math competition champion, a two-time state track qualifier, and has earned awards for both volleyball and basketball. Her favorite homecoming memory is last year's Powder Puff game when they held up signs that she and Tate had made to signal plays for the team. Her advice for freshmen is to enjoy every moment and smile in the hallways. You never know how much a simple smile can mean to someone. Jasmine is very scared of birds, and her favorite Bible verse is 1 John 4.18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. She hopes that every student at PHS finds something that they are passionate about and takes confident steps out of their comfort zone. Jasmine plans to attend Calvin University of Michigan to play volleyball and study politics and economics with a major in Spanish. Tate Wiesner is the son of Paul and Shanna Wiesner. He has participated in baseball, football, wrestling, and bowling. He has enjoyed playing sports and the relationships that he has built over the years. He is a two-time honorable mention all-conference for baseball, First team all district for football, first team all academic for football, and a state baseball qualifier. His favorite homecoming activity is participating in the lip sync. His, his advice for freshmen is, if you can't play good, look good. If you can't look good, smell good. If you can't smell good, then don't show up. <laughs> Tate has a collection of many leather bound books. His favorite quote is, stay away from that voodoo stuff, it'll mess you up, from Anchorman. He hopes that the following classes will, conti will continue the tradition that have some Pella Pride. Roll Dutch. Tate plans to attend a four-year college, play baseball, and study public relations. Tate Carlstone is the daughter of Spencer and Amanda Carlstone. She is escorted by Chase Lauman. She has participated in varsity soccer, bowling, varsity show choir, advanced choir, and madrigals. She has been in musicals and plays for four years, student council for six years, and has been class president for three years. She believes that learning how to work with other people towards a common goal is important in life. Being involved also encourages leadership and growth. She is a member of the National Honor Society and the International Thespian Society. She is on the DMAC Dean's List, All Iowa Academic Team for Soccer, and is a National Merit Scholarship Qualifier. She is also on the honor roll and has earned varsity letters in choir and soccer. Her favorite homecoming memory is the fourth grade assembly doing the pep rally cheers with the high schoolers. Her favorite advice for freshmen is to hold the doors open for people and get involved. The next four years are going to go so fast. Her favorite quote is, a wise bear once said, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. She hopes that students will be bold and try new things. Say hi to people in the hallways. You never know how it, will, it might make their day better. Tatum plans to attend, to apply to Baylor University in Waco, Texas, but has declared no major yet. Chase Lauman is the son of Chris and Don Lauman. He has participated in cross country, track, and, and basketball. He loves to connect with people while doing his favorite thing, which is running. He also enjoys playing basketball with his teammates. He is a state track champion in the 4x8, a team state track champion, a three-time state cross-country qualifier, a two-time state track qualifier, and a two-time cross-country all-conference and all-district runner. Chase is a member of the National Honor Society and has earned the Distinguished Service Award, the Seal of Biliteracy, 
and varsity letters in basketball, cross country, and track. His favorite homecoming memory is participating in the lip sync and ultimate frisbee competition during his sophomore and junior years. His advice for freshmen is, enjoy the opportunities with your classmates and teammates. His favorite quote is, to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift by Steve Prefontaine. He hopes that the cross country team wins the state championship. Chase plans to attend a four year college and continue to run. These are your 2022 homecoming candidates. Let's give them a round of applause. Homecoming is a much anticipated time of the year to celebrate school pride, unity, and loyalty. A time when current students welcome back those who walked the halls before them. To lead us in this week of celebration, we will now crown our 2022 homecoming king and queen. The 2022 homecoming king is Kenson Fuller. Our 2022 homecoming queen is Jasmine Namiga. Thank you. 